So let's go ahead and look at our third spiral, the adrenal gland. So we have the stress ACTH cortisol or the HPA axis, that's hypothalamus pituitary adrenal. So I don't expect you to memorize this chart, but I put it here just to have an image in your mind. And if you could kind of put this image like this, I call this the horseshoe, all right? So we have the horseshoe, and on the left, we have the reproductive hormones, and on the right, we have the adrenal hormones. We have stress. And so ideally, we are evenly dividing between these two pathways. We're dealing with our stress, but we have plenty left over for reproduction. So look at our main hormone in the middle. We have pregnenolone, which is considered the mother hormone. Pregnenolone, in an ideal situation, is evenly divided between the adrenal pathway to the right and the reproductive pathway to the left. So when the body is healthy and not too stressed, we have pregnenolone come down. It's converted into progesterone, 17-hydroxyprogesterone, and then into cortisol. And cortisol deals with normal, everyday stresses of the body. We need cortisol. It's healthy in its appropriate amount.